which is called the Borax Conspiracy, and it's a document that was published in the 80s. And what happened was, was during the 1980s, there was a guy who basically realized a lot of people were suffering from osteoporosis, arthritis, and all this pain and inflammation, right? And they were suffering from that because there was so much fluoride in the water. So the leading cause of people, for example, when they get over 65 and they start developing uh, arthritis, osteoporosis, you know, all of these things, they're building up fluoride in their body and their body gets, starts to get fluoridosis. When they start to develop fluoridosis, right, their bones become brittle and they start to basically almost fall apart. So if that person, for example, takes a fall at the age of, let's say, 65, 66, 67, they are more likely to break a bone or break a hip or break something because they have the fluoridosis going on in their bones. So what he determined was that if a person was consuming a small amount of borax, right, that their arth arthritis and osteoporosis would begin to reverse. So he noticed that when he was doing this, he basically gave it out to a bunch of people and said, here, just try this, tell me what you think. And it was just salt, right? And I'm, I'm just putting it out there, it's just salt. That's it. He started giving this out to people. People started blowing him up on the phone and saying, I need more of this, I feel good, where did you get this, you know, things like that. And what started to happen was, was he decided, I'm going to make a business out of this because I want to be able to help people with borax and this guy was in Australia so this is important to remember this is in Australia and Australia is facing a lot of things with supplements and vitamins being banned and things like that so this